Hello again and welcome to Ndu Dubai Fafa. Today I'm going to be sharing a classic Ewe dish. Okay, I'm Ewe and I'm from the Volta region of Ghana, which is in West Africa. Now this dish I would say is for lovers. So if an Ewe person has not made this dish for you, then you need to impress them more. Anyway, my holy grill always shows up, which is my ginger, garlic, onion, and aniseed. And I've blended that. And here I've got my chicken thighs. To that, I'm going to add my marinade or spice blend, may I say, and I'm just going to mix it all together but of course not until i do add my habanero chili that is going to give it this aromatic spicy flavor which this dish actually requires next thing is is going to rain oodles and oodles of onions yes and then i'm going to add some cooking oil you can use any oil of your choosing but it has to be unscented yes what I'm going to be doing now, though, is, of course, add my salt to taste. And I'm going to be cooking this on a very, very low heat. Why? What I'm doing is I'm going to be steaming the chicken. And then that is going to allow all the flavors to intensify. And the oil that I did add will then fry the chicken as well. So instead of, like, steaming the chicken, taking it out, frying it in oil and bringing it back... This is a one-pot dish in a way. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> so there's no hassle. And what I like about that is the spices do infuse into the chicken pieces beautifully. Now, if this is your first time of tuning in, you welcome. Thank you very much. Please don't forget to click the subscribe button whilst you're here and the notification button so you do not miss any future videos yes and this is a dish that i'm definitely going to serve myself during christmas yes so the chicken is browning beautifully now i have got another video of the same recipe but i did you know i did the voice over in my traditional dialect which is the Ewe language yes and it's if I have to mark myself one out of ten, definitely it's a grade one. Yes, it's a good laugh, um, but I'm trying and I think I might do some more in future. 2021. <laughs> anyway, so the chicken has browned beautifully, as you can tell or you can see. And I'm just removing it and placing it in a plate on the side. Now, in the same oil, what I'm going to then do is make my stew exactly so even if you know you do not want to even follow this recipe through you can do your guinean chicken this way your guinean fried chicken this way and serve it during the christmas festivities of course i've got my fresh tomatoes and i've blended that and i've added it to the hot oil so do please take all necessary precautions when you're dealing with anything hot because you're supposed to enjoy the food and not burn yourself here I'm adding my homemade tomato puree, yes. And I mean, of course, is that in Dudu Twist and that is going to be available soon on buy in Dudu, exactly. In the interim, you can use your normal tomato puree, not a problem. And as you can tell, I'm slow cooking this. And of course, there's no waste in my kitchen. So I do give the blender a rinse exactly and I do add the excess water to my sauce now what I'm looking for here is a saucy consistency exactly so this is quite different from making your normal chicken stew at this point I'm adding my bay leaves and I do love the flavor that bay leaves do add to this dish now bearing in mind this is optional and then the next thing is I've just crushed some smoked dried shrimp into a coarse texture and I'm going to add about a tablespoonful to my sauce. Now, if you've been watching this channel, I do not use any stock cube. I love enhancing my dish with natural flavors. So this is not supposed to overpower the dish. It's just supposed to enhance all the flavors in there and give it that umami flavor. 
after 30 minutes of slow cooking, you end up with this consistency, as you can tell. And it is at this point that I do add my fried, steamed, flavor-packed chicken pieces, as you can tell. And I'm just going to gently mix everything together and allow this to simmer for another eight minutes yes this is just to allow every ingredient and spice to you know sort of introduce themselves to each other now the main reason why you might not have tried this recipe because this is a herculean task of removing the seeds of each okra what I tend to do is just use my knife, my blunt knife that I use in eating. Yes, your knife and fork. I just use the knife because um, it's blunt and that helps for an easy, you know, removal of the seeds from the okra. So typically you just take the head of the okra off and then you, you know, cut it lengthwise as you can tell here in two, open it and then just use your knife or sometimes just use your finger to do so and that is it i'm just going to dislodge it yep as you can tell and then i'll scoop it and then push it the way through and that will just take it all out now bear in mind i'm not throwing the seeds away because they're going to come in handy i've done a few research about okra seeds and i'm so excited about them so yes and i think definitely i will try and plant some as well <laughs> why not exactly I'm sure by now everybody is checking out their airway friend and going like, hello, with all the things that I've done for you, how come you've never made me this dish? Mm hmm. Yes, and the airway friend would be like, maybe you just need to impress me more. Hey, hey. this one, dear, it not be my problem. Me, I just bought you the recipe now. Eh, the okra is ready. Me, I'm going to do some chop chop. Exactly. <laughs> So anyway, I'm just going to finally chop this as you can see here and I'm going to chop it finely because it's exactly what is needed. This dish is always served in when one has to celebrate something because of how, you know, tasking it is, especially when dealing with the okra. Um, apart from that, nothing else is that tasking. But anyway, we need to steam the okra. So here I've got some water. I'm adding some onions and then green chilies. Now, if you're in Ghana, you can use your bakbushito, lucky you. But this is what I have here, or the cassoir pepper. And then, of course, I've added my chopped okra. And I'm going to be steaming this for about three minutes. The next thing I'm going to add to this is my salt to taste, yes. And also my bicarbonate of soda. You can use a kaun, which is a traditional one, and that will just activate that slight mucilaginous nature of the okra. And of course, when you take the seeds out, it means that the okra isn't as slimy as it normally would be. So even by me adding the bicarbonate soda, it's not still that slimy. And here I've also added a little bit of my shrimp powder to just lend that sweetness as well to the okra. And this is ready. My stew is ready. So now I'm going to do marriage number two. This is polygamy in Indudu by Fafes Kitchen. <laughs> but seriously, you need to go watch the error version. It was, but then again, like I, you know, sent mom the link earlier for her to watch and i loved her feedback you know and also i sent a few you know of the our gurus may i say and they were laughing and you know so i hope that like you know one would watch it and also feel the same way anyways of course one would mix everything together and this is just going to simmer for about three to four minutes because it's almost done everything is cooked i'm adding a little bit of salt to taste yes and um voila this is ready. This is not any other food. This is Indudu by Fafa. Have I given you a reason to click the subscribe button to share with your family and friends? Me, this dish is gracing my Christmas table and I hope it is going to be gracing your Christmas table too. Exactly. Mm-hmm. What are you going to serve this with? Of course, the good almighty Akula Banku, but I've got an incredible Banku mix recipe, and especially for those in the diaspora, it helps a lot. Anyway, so yeah, what kind of Banku person are you? 
Are you one that is like, you know, Moses parting in the middle of the Red Sea? Are you the one shabu shabu or you are the baller? You like bawling, exactly. Anyway, naturally, I'll leave the list of ingredients and measurements on my blog in dudubayfafa.blogspot.com. So to check it out, I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and Snapchat as indudubayfafa. So pass by saying hi. Noel, thank you very much for my theme song. And until my next video with you guys, take care of yourselves. Me, I love you for you. I know.